But I'm making up two bowls. One for lunch and one for dinner. Make sure he finishes them. And no snacking in between. He won't eat it. He hates vitamins. Well, they're good for him. And he's been looking a little peaked of late. He just wants to get out, you know. Don't you, boy? Hmm. Them again. They're not bad. Oh, I'm not saying they are. But you'd think you could exercise better judgment when choosing friends, don't you? No, no, don't start with me again. You know what happened the last time. Oh, come on, they're dogs. They're supposed to knock over trash cans. 37 trash cans all in a row? So they got excited. So did the sanitation engineer. And I didn't notice either of you offering to carry him to the hospital. He weighed 300 pounds. And besides, all he did was faint. OK, I'll watch him this time. He'll never leave my sight. And he's already had one walk today, so you feed him, and then when I get home from work, we can all take a walk together. You gave me the job. Why won't you trust me with it? Oh, I do trust you. I do. It's just that... It's just that he's seemed sort of... Well, he's out of sorts lately, and I don't know what the problem is, because he won't open up and talk to me. But I think once he and I have had a little chat, then... <clears throat> okay, I'm here. If you want a lift, let's get in the car. I thought he blew it up. He did. We're not talking about that, okay? We don't mention it, we don't discuss it. Sure. Fine. Let's go. What's he driving? Heard that. Be right there, Ray. All right. Try and have a good day. Hey, boy. Yeah, I know. How about a nice game of Monopoly? No, huh? It's a nice glove box. Very spacious. Good seat covers. Motor pool. I thought we agreed not to talk about it. No, of course, of course. The loss of a loved one is always a shock. Major. No, I'm sorry, Ray, but, but I do understand. You'd be hard-pressed to find a finer example of Detroit's automotive engineering than the 1971 Riviera. Enough, OK? Enough. All right, you took the rib, you drove it all over the countryside, you gave it to a convicted felon, you ran it into a ditch, and you forced me to blow it up. Lives were saved, Rick. And yours was spared. I love that car. Not a word. Can't you tell them to shut up? Somebody's gonna call the cops. They're your friends. Do something. You heard Frazier. You're grounded. Forget it, OK? You're a bad influence on me, you know that? OK, OK. Hey, did the maker? Did the maker wait up?
Driving how far we drive? Two blocks. Go oh, grip. Idiot. Right. Nathan Becker. I know, I know. Follow the wolf. Go oh, right. Wolf. <laughs> Oh, great. Is it safe now, or should I wait for the cattle drive? No, go ahead. Oh. Hey, watch it, bird brain! You know, Ray, I think I'm just gonna... Good idea. Sir, I'm Constable Benton Fraser. Broken in amount of police. May I help you? Not unless you have a gun. Well, I'm afraid I'm not actually... And this animal is under arrest. 
All right, I'm the cop here. I'll say who's under arrest. Who's under arrest? This wild animal chased me for six blocks. He not only violated the leash law, he's also guilty of disturbing the peace and creating a public nuisance. Officer uh, Benedict? Yeah, Arnold Benedict. Diefenbaker is my wolf, and I'm afraid I'm entirely responsible for his unfortunate behavior. No, you're not. I am. Look, I'm sorry. He just looks so sad cooped up inside that apartment. We'll apart. discuss your part in this later. In the meantime, I have his license right here, and if you'd be so kind as to write up a ticket. Hey, I don't care if you have a license. That animal is crazy. I told you, he tried to attack me. All right, look, buddy. Obviously, there's been a misunderstanding here. So the wolf and his friends got a little frisky. Can't we settle this without going through all that nasty, time-consuming paperwork? No dice. Yep. Oh, he bit me! That's enough. I'm terribly sorry, officer. He's not at all like Hey, you. sorry is not enough, constable. That is a dangerous animal. He's going to quarantine. Quarantine? But if you don't like it, talk to a judge. Could be rabies. Or it could be that he just had a bad day. We'll know soon enough. Thank you, officer. Well, don't worry. We'll take good care of him. Yes, sir. This just isn't like him. What could he possibly have been thinking? I don't know, Frazier. For some reason, wolves really share their innermost thoughts with me. Now, you're going to have to go to court. And even if he isn't sick, you're still going to have to prove that he isn't a chronic biter. Stephen Baker has never bit a person in his life. I have all of his papers. His shots are up to date. He must have had a reason. He does have a reason. He's a wolf. That's a popular misconception, Ray. Wolves only attack human beings if they've been severely provoked. So, did you spring him? No, I can't do that, Willie. Stephen Baker's broken the law. We have to let justice take its course. You've got to be kidding me. Mm -mm. The way I figure it is that guy in there is really soft. So let's just slip him a few bucks. Good idea. That would be bribery. Right. right. Absolutely not. The only way that we're going to help Diefenbaker is to ensure that he receives a fair hearing. Oh, come on, Frazier. He bit the guy. You saw him. I saw him. The wolf's guilty. But what happened before we got there? It could be extenuating circumstances, witnesses to those circumstances. We won't know this until we've completed our investigation. Our investigation? Look, I got a full caseload of crimes involving humans. I think that takes precedence. You're right. You're too busy. Oh, come on, Frazier. No, no, I mean that's right. You have more important things to do. We'll manage. The kid? You're going to send a known felon out to solve a crime? Hey, I'm strictly Mr. Meaners, and you know that. Fine, do it on your own. See if I care. Probably wouldn't even make it past the first witness. Well, it seems the wolf has made a less than favorable impression on your neighbors. I, mean, I can't see why. I mean, he's very personable once you get to know him. Really? Let's review. One, runs with pack of motley stray dogs. Well, Ray, they're not dangerous. They just haven't had a bath. Two, knocked over 57 garbage cans while leading the aforesaid pack. 37, he helped clean them up afterwards. Furthermore, he is not their leader. Three, suspected of killing and eating missing neighborhood pets. Ray, really, that's another misconception. Wolves only kill when they're ravenous and their preferred prey is large hooved animals. I don't see how Mrs. Pomputis's Pekingese can bear a passing resemblance to a caribou. Yeah. Even if it was wearing shoes. Well, we haven't actually found anyone who saw Diefenbaker harass Officer Benedict. Yeah, and we haven't found anyone who said Benedict provoked him either. The burden of proof rests with the opposition, Ray. Oh, come on, Frazier. Think we got a wolf on one hand, animal control officer on the other. Who are you going to believe? Excuse me, ma'am. I, I couldn't help noticing that you're... Oh, have you seen her? She's a husky, gray and white, about 35 pounds. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. How long has she been missing? Now, you're the Mountie. That wolf was yours, isn't he? Well, I do own a wolf, yes. Well, how could you bring a wild animal into this neighborhood? Don't you have any conscience at all? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not sure that I understand what you're suggesting. Oh, that wolf of yours has been hanging around these alleys for weeks. Now, I was so scared, I couldn't even let my son take the dog out for a walk. All right, lady. The wolf's in custody. There's nothing to worry about. My dog is missing. I've been talking to the people in the laundromat. They've lost pets, too. Now, some of them right out of their own backyard. So call animal control. Well, they did. None of them were picked up. They just disappeared like Maggie. I swear to you. If that animal of yours hurt our dog... Ma'am, if that is the case, then I will personally see to it that this situation is immediately and irrevocably dealt with. However, if you don't have any actual evidence against my wolf... This is my evidence. 
I just better find my dog, you understand? Constable, I just picked this up in the alley, and I thought you might want to see it. Some might call it evidence. I could send a certain wolf up the river for a long time. Thank you very kindly. Great, a dog collar. Maggie. Settle down. I thought that room was supposed to be empty. Uh, Stray. Just brought her in. You want me to write it up? No, I'll do the paperwork later. Thanks. Now you behave. Hmm? <laughs> Shut up in there. Okay, case number 95-M1-352739, the city of Chicago versus Diefenbachia. That's Diefenbaker, sir. Uh-huh. Constable Fraser, is it? Yes, sir. Okay, what I have here is a statement from animal control, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, seems pretty straightforward. Anything you care to add before I give you my ruling? Yes, there is, Your Honor, may I? He's gonna tell the truth, we're dead. Just give him a chance. <clears throat> <clears throat> On Tuesday last, the accused, that is my wolf, Diefenbaker. Wolf? Well, yes, sir, he's a wolf. Uh, partly, anyway. I I'm not sure what the other party is. Wait, 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 wait. You let a wolf run loose in the streets and he attacks somebody. Why doesn't that come as a surprise to me? Uh, well, you see, sir, actually, that that's a popular misconception. Uh, the fact hey, is... Hey, fall back. Your Honor, Detective Vecchio. Uh-huh. Let's cut to the chase. So the wolf took a piece out of the animal control guy. He's a city bureaucrat. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you do the same if you had the opportunity? Oh, great. Uh, Ray. Ray Vecchio? Uh, yes, Your Honor. You're the cop that got Justice Powell committed to county psychiatric. Hey, look, just because a judge gets carried out of court on a stretcher screaming a particular detective's name no, doesn't No, no, mean... no, no. I'm very honored, really. See, I've always wanted to know just how many members of his immediate family did you actually indict? Well, four, including the toddler, but that was an unfortunate error. Uh, Your Honor, about my wolf. Right, the wolf. Right. <clears throat> okay, uh, how many people has he attacked? Well, none. I mean, except in the line of duty. Excuse me? Well, you see, sir, as a member of the Royal Canadian Mount of Police, I tend to run across desperate criminals on occasion, and Diefenbaker has often been extremely instrumental in bringing about their capture and their subsequent incarceration. As a matter of fact, I have a letter of gratitude here from an Inuit elder in Tokta Oh, that's okay. Thank you very much. Has he ever killed? No, of course not. Well, at least not without cause. There was a, a nasty incident involving a wolverine on a Northumberland Sound. Okay, so the answer to my question is yes. Tell me, Constable, just how long have you had this animal in captivity? Well, I've never really thought of him as captive, Your Honor. You see, Diefenbaker was born in the wild, but he came to live with me of his own free will. You mean he's wild, he's not domesticated? Oh, no, no. No, he's very sociable, if that's what you mean. No, Constable, that is not what I mean. What you have here is a wild animal living in an apartment, and by your own admission, has bitten more than one individual and is responsible for killing at least one other animal. This is not Lassie. Order the animal be put to sleep. You can't kill him. He didn't mean to hurt anybody. 
Look, it was my fault. Son, why don't you let the grown-ups handle Your Honor, you can't euthanize him just because he's wild. Why don't you send him back to the woods from where he came? I can't do that, detective. Not so long as there's any question about him being a danger to man. Sorry. You, you can't let me do this. Fine. To hell with the law. And to hell with you. Well, the, the good news is that Ray says we have nothing to worry about. It turns out, luckily for us, that he's very well acquainted with a number of sitting judges, and he's confident that one of them is bound to grant us a stay of execution. Oh. Well, I know, but it's, I mean, it's not inconceivable that he would know one of them, and the, the least we can do is let him try, don't you think? You know, I, I was thinking today about that time that you pulled me from the sound, and, uh... I know I never really... You did want to come here, didn't you? I just took it for granted. I know I never really discussed it, but... I would hate to think that you came here and stayed here all of this time just out of some kind of misplaced sense of duty. You wouldn't do that, would you? <laughs> well, I, I didn't think you would. You know, I, I, I can stay if you'd like. So I, uh, I brought my bedroll. Okay, well, if, if you'd rather be alone, then. Diefenbaker, what's wrong? Diefenbaker? All right, I'm leaving now, uh, but I'll be back in the morning. I said not to worry, didn't I say that? This is America, land of a lengthy appeal. I can tie this case up for years faster than you can say Judge Walker. Sure. Now, I know some judges who are big dog lovers. A couple of calls and bing, bang, boom, deep is as good as a free puppy. You know, I had a loss of my own recently, Elaine, and you can say anything about that. It was a car raid. Can we not talk about this? Hello, Judge Axelrod? Yes, Detective Vecchio here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, no. Oh, why, thank you, sir. Yes, it has been a long time. Well, I thought it was an open and shut case myself, too, sir. Dinner plans? Well, of course, I'll get right to the point. Now, you are a pet lover, are you not, sir? I mean, I recall seeing a picture of Prince, I believe his name was. Your wife's dog. And the divorce proceedings aren't going well. Well, gee, I'm really sorry to hear that, sir. Bitten as a child? Uh, well, you know, if I was in your shoes, sir, I'd do exactly the same thing, yes. Uh, my call? Uh, ah, you know what, sir? <laughs> That's really not important. I mean, you got enough, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, fine, well, uh, thank you, sir, and, uh, yeah, God bless, yes. <sighs> it's going great. I mean, I've put in a lot of calls, and, you know, this animal is good as sprung. I appreciate you trying, Ray. No, 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 this book. See this book here? 
This contains the names of over 50 jurists and lawmakers. I have compromising photos of several. I mean, you know, we have not yet begun to fight. Let's see. Gold. Gold. Harry Gold. There you go, boy. I know. We don't like to do it, but when an animal bites its owner, well... Oh, hey, hey. I brought a little something extra for you. Yeah. It's against the rules. But a condemned man needs more than a bowl of kibble and a chew stick. Oh, what are you still doing here? Our uh, last meal for a 21B, a little steak. Why bother? Any dog that bites you can't be all bad, can it, huh? Oh, that's funny. Yeah. A new one? No, mistake. I'm taking him back to his owner. Well, lock up. Oh, yeah. Good night, guys. Um. Bring us your injured, your weak, and your homeless. The wretched refuse of your teeming show. Look, you don't pay me enough to listen to your stupid jokes. We do pay you to deliver. And you're not the only worm around here that'll steal people's pets just to earn a few extra bucks. Where's the husky? Beauty, huh? Just like you ordered. Yeah, too bad. But she won't be when those lab people get through with her. Boy, it's me. Boy, you don't look so good. What have they been doing to you in here? Uh, no, don't tell me. I can imagine. Hey, 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 look. I'm here to help, okay? We're gonna have you out of here in no time. Just sit back and relax. You, you sure you're okay? I mean, what that judge said about you just ain't so, is it? You know, that you're mad from not being in the wild and all? Well, even if you are, it doesn't matter. Now, you won't bite me, will you? I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I mean, you wouldn't go and bite a friend now, would you? There. You see? This is going great. Get out of here. Vecchio. 
V-E-C-C. What do you mean he doesn't remember me? How can he not remember me? Alzheimer's. Well, all right, fair enough. It's all right, Rick. Ah, look, Frazier, even I know that animal's your best friend. Yes, but he is an animal. Oh, and the Riviera is just a car? <sighs> Judge Maxwell's office just called. He died two years ago. Thank you, Lynn. Well, those pictures weren't worth much anyway. Yellow. Hold on. Hello? It's the ACC. Your wolf seems to have escaped. Escaped? It looks like he might have had some help. Could have been one of those groups who release pets from labs. It's the fashion these days. Willie. What's that? What will you do now? Well, notify the authorities and send an armed officer out to track him down. It has been ordered destroyed. I understand. Thank you. Can you take me home? Sure. Did you get them? Could you hold them till I ask for them? Is that your father's rifle? Why don't you let me do this for you? No. He's my wolf. Where are you going? Canada. Step on. Come on, boy. Imagine running away to try and release him. Kid's got spirit. Kid's a pain in the ass. Would you please notify all the border control points? Thank you. What, is he taking him to Canada? He's taking him back to the wild. Hey, that's out of my jurisdiction. Willie's in danger, Ray. From what, Diefenbaker? What's with him? I don't know. Diefenbaker? Come here, boy. I mean, a car is nothing but a hunk of metal, steel, bolts, and leather. I mean, I know that. 
But the wolf, it's the damnedest thing. It was like there's a person inside of it. Side of Waukegan. I checked the map. There's an interchange there that serves the I-94. We're coming up on it now. Thank you kindly, Elaine. They're headed south. That's back where we came from. Doesn't the kid know where north is? Well, of course he does. I gave him a compass. Yeah, I got a compass from my 10th birthday. Every direction I turned, it pointed north. Well, it wouldn't matter, Ray. Even if Willie was confused or the compass was broken, all he had to do was follow the highway. And yet these tracks go the other way. Good. Maybe he got smart. He's going back home. Look, Frazier, the wolf's crazy. Why don't you let the animal control guys take it from here? He's not crazy. He did that? Yes. I wouldn't call peeling the bark off a tree normal behavior even for a demented wolf. Well, it's hunting behavior. When a wolf kills its prey, it peels off the hide. It's more efficient for digestion. But I don't see a carcass anywhere. This is a good sign. Every wolf raised in the wild is born with the instinct to kill, either for food or self-preservation or protect its own. His anxiousness lately and running with that pack of strays, now this, I think he's returning to his wild state. Fine. Can't use the others. What do you expect me to do with them? Bone Cancer Clinic in Skokie. Call them. Yeah, no problem. I'm headed north on 994 right now. Don't worry. I'll get him. What's that? I gotta go. That crazy wolf got loose. I 
Not orders. Yeah, well, now you got new ones. Back off. Give me a bullet, Ray. Quickly. Get me here. Hey. can't do this. We haven't done anything illegal. Well, not strictly. Tell it to the judge. You know, you could have told me about this. Well, it's not as though we're complete strangers. I think she seems to be a very good choice. That's what this was about? He's got a girlfriend? Well, actually, it's <clears throat> a little bit more complicated than that, Ray. This dog is with child. Puppies? Wow. His name is Buster. Hi, Buster. Oh. Her name is Sunshine. Yeah, that's real nice, kid, but try not to get the wolf hairs on my clothes. You sure you don't want one? Oh, no, thank you. One wolf in the family is enough. <laughs> well, we can visit. I'll bring you. Actually, I think he can find his own way. But you're welcome to join him anytime. Oh, uh, well, thank you kindly, but I, I, I wouldn't dream. I'll cook. Oh. Uh, we'd be delighted, wouldn't we? Oh, well, I guess it's kind of a nice cyclical thing. You blowing up the rib and me saving your wolf. On the other hand, my rib can't be replaced and your wolves seem to have tripled. Why can't it be replaced? Frazier, 71 Rivieras are extremely rare. I traveled all the way to Buffalo to find that car. They're impossible to find. Huh. Huh, what? Oh, my God. Hey, wait! Wait, stop! Police! Stop! Stop! Hey! Hey, stop! Police! Five, 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 two, six, six, three. Five, 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 two, six, six, three. Five, 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 two, six, six, three. Hey! Hey, wait up! sky will carry you away You know you have to leave here You wish that you could stay There's four directions on this map But you're only going one way Do south That's the way I'm 